Hi everybody, now for my next movie review, I'm going to talk about the movie The Woman in Black that's got the Harry Potter star in it, um, you know, uh, Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, Tony and I recently watched this movie, we rented it from Redbox, and well, let's just say it's listed as a suspense thriller, I mean it really is suspenseful, and you know, Tony and I were, you know, kind of like you know, wondering, like, you know, as we're watching, we're like, you know, is it this, is it here, is there, I mean, it is kind of creepy, I mean, I'm not going to deny it, but, you know, Tony and I were very, very, very let down by the movie itself, I mean, we just were like, you know, by the time we got done watching it, we're like, you know, we looked at each other and said, thank goodness we did not pay to see this in the theater, <clears throat> Excuse me. We actually, you know, got it out of Redbox. We were so glad that all we did was like drop like, you know, a dollar thirty on it, tax and everything out the door. Because I mean, let's face it, the movie wasn't all that good and the ending was just a real letdown. I mean, I won't say how it ended. You know, if you wanna watch it and find out for yourself, I mean you'll find out. I mean it does get really stinking creepy, but <clears throat> it's also absolute letdown, you know, to watch it afterwards you're like we looked at each other and said, really? You know? I mean, it was pretty bad. Um, but, anyway. <coughs> excuse me. Um, I did want to hop on here and just quickly do this review. Because, I mean, I've been kind of stewing on it for a while now. And, well, anyway. You know, I'm starting up this new playlist. And we'll have more videos coming, alright? So, hang on.